Okay, everybody, how's it going? Now you're on to week three. So hopefully you've gotten through all of week two's information. And if you haven't, it's really important to go back and finish week two. Um, here is a screenshot of week two, week three. So this week I'm going to show you a little bit about week three, some highlights, some key points. So let's go into week three. Um, make sure that you are going into each of these in order. In fact, I have actually set it now so that you have to go into each of these pages in order. And each time you go in, you'll get a check mark saying that you, you went into it. One other thing that's important is our webinars. So our webinars are live on Tuesdays at 11. If you are unable to attend the webinars, you will have an assignment that you have to prepare. So let's go into this. You'll click on this webinar if you were unable to attend. And then you'll need to write a description of what you learned. So make sure that you are very specific and you provide examples in order to get full credit. And then you'll submit that description in the Dropbox. You can either type it in there or type it in a Word document and submit it, you know, however you want to do. But make sure, make sure that you don't just say, I learned what I was going to learn, because that won't get you any credit. You really need to write a description of, of what the webinar was about, what you learned, and provide some specifics. Okay. So, what you can expect for this week is a little bit of review. So you'll have a quick check here, measures of central tendency and probability, just some calculations. And don't feel bad if you don't remember, but do your best. This is why it's a quick check. Also, just in case you haven't noticed it so far, if you take one of these quizzes or these practice sessions and you don't do very well, there are opportunities to retake it. So make sure that you look at my comments and you try again. Either you can get help from me before you try again, you can go back and review some of the lessons, or email me. Either way, you know, make sure you, you do it again until you do it proficiently. Um, so the bulk of this week is really around surveys. We're going to be looking at designing surveys, you know, the proper way to do it, things that can go wrong when you're designing a survey. You'll do a little research as well. So here, let me show you. You're going to, on this assignment right here, this discussion, you're actually going to do a little bit of research on some different sampling methods, and then you will pick one to write about. Okay. Um, at the very end, you get a little bit more technical. You'll actually need to make sure that you watch these lessons on margin of error more with margin of error before you take the practice quiz because there is a, a little bit of a calculation that you'll need to do. Same thing with your z-scores. So make sure that you watch this lesson before you do the practice in Khan Academy. And hopefully you all have set up your Khan Academy accounts at this time because you will now need to go into Khan Academy, log in, make sure that I am your coach in Khan Academy so you can be getting credit for what you do in there. And if you don't know how to, to do that, you can go back to, and I'm, I'll show you right now, go back to materials, go back to welcome and class resources, under class resources, set up your Khan Academy practice for the class. So make sure you do that, or text me, email me, and I can give you some assistance with that. All right, so that is what we are covering this week. In this week at a glance, it you know, tells you when all of your assignments are due. We are in quarter one, so let's just go back in and double check that. Unit one, week three right here. You can also check here, due Monday, right? So the first day that you get in right now, hopefully it's Monday, you will do this quick check, okay? And then on Tuesday, you'll do a lesson in practice. So that means that there's a lesson in here and then immediately following that a practice. You have another practice Tuesday as well. So you have two practices Tuesday, which probably means they're not that bad, that they don't take that much time. Wednesday is when you'll do your research and you'll write a little bit about that. Okay, and then on Thursday, you'll take a practice quiz on margin of error. And then due Sunday is another practice quiz. So not that bad. Um, just make sure that you follow this, you know, one at a time. And like I said, this week, things will be locked until you go into the previous page, just to let you know. All right. Thanks, everyone.